What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No a Premium, back with another episode of The Market Overview, guys. Today, today we just kept on melting up, and I think bears are really getting upset here because everybody keeps on wanting to short, and this thing wants to keep on going up. Yes, it's on declining volume, but usually melt-ups happen that way. Never short a dull, boring market. I don't know who said that, but somebody who was smarter than me said that, and I listened. Okay, real quick, what do we have for economic data tomorrow? Really nothing going on in the pre-market, just some data after uh, the market open here. You got all the University of Michigan data, one in five-year inflation expectations, as well as consumer sentiment, consumer expectations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's all we really got to worry about as far as data is going on. Onto the charts here now, right to our 5244, if uh, all the Fibonacci peeps, right? This is what? This is the time they have been waiting for. Golden pocket is about 52.54 up here, right? Right to our level. So for me, I'm not, I mean, I'm not screaming to get long up here, but this zone up here is like, I'm going to watch to see how do we react to sellers step in? Okay. Do sellers finally step in where all of this started? This whole sell-off started right here on this candle. Do you think there's some sellers left up here? Maybe. So 52.72. Okay, I will watch to see if we are going to get short up here. But likewise, on a little smaller time frame, right, we can watch 52.15 for a nice bounce before we get up there. I don't know if we want to come down first, but really this is a zone up here. I will be looking to see how the seller is going to react. Zoom out, look left. Buyers definitely have some work cut out for them to see what they've got to get through. This started the whole, this started the whole entire sell. So up, you know, 52.60, 52.72. I am only interested in shorts. Now, should we get above? Should we get above, you know, 5285? Absolutely. This thing is going to rip back to highs. But as for right now, I am only interested in seeing how we react right here. 5260 to about 5272. How do we react right there? That's will be on the main watch for tomorrow. On to the NQ chart here. NQ, not as strong as SPY. Very interesting. Didn't get over the highs here like SPY did. But nonetheless, should we break over about 18,250? I do think 18,350, 18,500, 18,500 started that rip, that push down. I do think there's a lot of upside here on QQQ. This is just a nice flag that's still flagging, right? Which makes me think we can go higher. So on, on same thing on QQ on, uh, excuse me, on ES, I think we can go higher up to that 5270-ish area, which is still another, you know, 30 points higher. I think uh, NQ, we can go at least two, 300 points higher here. But 1350 will be an interesting area only because if we do this just to see, right, it all matches up. 18350, 18367 is that golden zone retrace do we get a little above it it is possible right but i'm not screaming to get long i'd probably be more comfortable longing nq at these levels than i'd be um longing es at its current levels Let's go to the spy guy chart here s p 500 etf i hate that it zooms out like that every time anyway you know as we can see Moving up above highs, let me get this one out of the way. Up above highs over 18, 518.22, going right up to 521. 521, big reject here. This, you know, obviously after this bounce, this started to sell down, right? So 521 is going to be big, but if 521 doesn't hold, um, or 521 doesn't reject, that break and hold, I mean, 524, that's the next major level up. But 521, I'm not looking to get long, really close to that level. We have been just writing calls. All of today, we just rode calls all of today, which is really nice. But just zooming out and looking left, you guys can see the wick here, and you guys can see the body here. So this, you know, there's a lot of sellers. This is the one that really started us down on our descent. So 521 will be the level to watch tomorrow. Play around that 521 tomorrow. Can't watch the 518 bounce, too. 518 bounce. Okay, QQQ, let's go to the daily. Not getting above its flag. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So for us here, right? For us here on QQQ, I'm going to get rid of this level. QQQ, it's got to break above 442. It's just kind of flagging. I'd be interested in the break here, right? Because I think there's a lot more upside. Now, yes, this started the sell down. Okay, but we still see a lot of supply that is still left up here. Imagine like closing up here and gapping down, 
right? But that's why we're probably having trouble with this 442. There are sellers here. I do not want to let this through. So play. Either we can reject this, okay, or we break and hold it. Take this thing to 448. It's all going to be off 442 tomorrow. QQQ, IWM. Uh, IWM, very nice. Really playing around this 203.50 like level. I mean, like really nicely filled its gap. You guys can see it there. I was favoring a bounce down at 200, but you know what? If price wants to accept, it wants to accept. So looking at a smaller time frame chart here, right up, pull back, holding, good, go higher. Got to take out 206. Takes out 206, great. Look to get long and strong. Lots of room up to about 209. If not, um, you can look for the bounce trade at 203.50. I still favoring the call side to trade at 200. Or if we double top, triple top now reject here, uh, you could take the reject here at 206. Guys, other than that, that's all I got for you. As usual, you got to wake up early, get your levels right, and of course, not do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you right early. Peace.